Hello everyone, and welcome back to yet another video. In today's video, I'm taking the Formosa Express from Taichung to Taichung. But it's not just about the train ride. It's going to be a full-on adventure on the east coast of Taiwan. So, without further ado, let's go. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. You find me at Taichung Huozhezhan or Taichung Main Station today and I'm going to be taking the Formosa Express down to Taichung. But what exactly is the Formosa Express? Well, the Formosa Express is a tourist sightseeing train here in Taiwan running many different services throughout the island with different excursion packages and the like. The equipment it uses is from the National Railway Company, TRA, or the Taiwan Railway Administration. However, the service itself is run by a separate tour group company called Easy Travel. I am currently waiting for my train in the main waiting area here at Taichung Main Station. Now honestly, the station is really nice. Everything is modern, up to date, and there's good signage and everything's well lit. However, I'm not exactly a fan of the open air space the station has as it can get very hot in Taiwan, especially in the summer. So if you're looking for a place to catch a break from the heat, I would probably just recommend you to head over to the nearest 7-Eleven. Before I know it, my train is pulling up to the platform. Now, longtime viewers of the channel may recognize this train as being a Zhu Guanghao or Chu Kuang Express, and you're partially right. This train, at its core, is basically a Chu Kuang Express, but with some extra cars reserved for the tourist train passengers all the way in the back. And Trust me, I've tried going to the regular cars, it's sealed off, so there's pretty much no way to get between the regular cars and the tourist cars. And the tourist cars also offer some extra amenities that aren't really seen on mainline passenger trains here in Taiwan, including a cafe car, as well as a karaoke car, and so on. But for now, let's just head on board. So, time for a seat tour. First things first, you just can't really beat the legroom here. There's just so much space between my seat and the seat in front. The legrest is also a welcome addition, as it doesn't really block off any extra legroom you might need to use. Moving on upward, we have a fold-down table, which was also pretty sturdy. And we also have a seat back net. There's also some cup holders, as well as a rather old fashioned window blind, albeit with some Hello Kitty decor, some coat hangers, and a overhead rack. The seat itself also sports a quite impressive recline, 
as well as being really well padded and really comfortable. So time to take a quick look around our train. Exiting the car that I'm sitting in, we enter into the cafe car. It's a really nice car, however, if you're looking for a bite to eat, I'm sorry but you're out of luck. The cafe car only sells merchandise and drinks. Nevertheless, it's still a really nice car to watch the world go by. Exiting the cafe portion of the car, we enter into the karaoke portion, which is where you can sing karaoke. It's kind of self-explanatory. Lastly, we have the quote-unquote lounge slash sightseeing car. However, this car can also act as the restaurant car, as this is normally where you'll eat your food once they deliver it on board, if you don't want to eat it at your seat. It's also a very nice car with seats facing outwards towards the windows, as well as seats facing each other. And lastly, seats on board are laid out in a 1 plus 2 configuration. After Kaohsiung, lunch is served in this very nice looking paper box, as well as another round of refreshments. lovely crew of this train just let me into the blocked off back carriage and I mean just look at these views
And just like that, we've arrived in Taidong Huotezan or Taidong's train station. Due to this trip, including some off-train excursions, after getting off at the station, a tour guide picked us up and took us to various different sites in the area. The first was Xiaoye Liu, basically some sandstone rock formations by the sea, and boy, these are really beautiful. After this, we headed over to the Taidong Forest Park. This is also where I had the brilliant idea to stop recording footage altogether on the DJI Osmo. So the footage from now on is pretty much just going to be pictures and some video recorded on phones instead. I had a great time at the Forest Park. It's got some real beautiful sights, and it even allows you to rent some cool scooters that you get to ride around the park, which I took full advantage of. After spending some quality time at the forest park, it was time to head over to the hotel for the night, which was going to be the Formosa Naruwan Resort and Hotel. After a very good night's sleep as well as some breakfast, we met up with our tour guide and went to the first site of the day, which was checking out the National Taitung University campus. After this, we drove down the shore to a once-used station. This station is called Duoliang Station, and ever since its closure, it's kind of turned into a tourist hotspot. In my opinion, it's also a very awesome rail fanning spot as well. You can get a lot of cool pictures and video here.
After a really fun day, we check in at our hotel, which is the Century Hotel here in Taidong. This is definitely my favorite hotel out of the two we stayed at, as it's much more modern and was just a whole lot nicer than the last one. And with that, ends our adventure across Taiwan. Thank you for watching, and I hope you found this video a bit informative as well as entertaining. If you liked it, I hope you subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is the 4905 here, and I will see you next time. Take care.